looks like you lost another one what is going on guys it's me again vince with another video and i don't know if you've seen my most recent video but if you haven't go ahead and uh, click this link up here it's pretty much about me and frank of Falcon overland uh, talking about their flagship products in the portable fridge industry and in this video i'm gonna bring back frank and have him talk to you guys about the bluetooth feature of these fridges it's one of the features that it has that it's really cool and really important for these fridges and he's gonna go through um he's gonna give us a walkthrough of the app and how it's used and what's its importance so before we move on i just want to ask a big favor from everybody and that is by liking and subscribing to this channel that way you get notified for future videos and you're helping the channel grow as well so enough said take it away frank so all right thanks vince so we're going to assume that we've downloaded the app that's on our phone we've opened up the app we did the search we hit the pair and we're basically now ready to start making changes and controlling our fridge so your app opens up it's a very simple interface very simple to read you'll find that here in the upper windows this is paired to a 75 liter this is going to show you both zones the left side box and the right side box which you see over here Below that, it's going to tell you what's the actual voltage that the cooler is seeing right now. For example, it's plugged in to a wall, so it's seeing 14.4 volts. This little icon just tells you that the fridge is in the process of cooling one of the other zones. Now below that's what I think we're most interested in. This is the temperature of the left and right side box. And literally, all I have to do is slide my finger, and then you can see I set it at 9 degrees. Same with the right side box. You just slide your finger around. There, I brought it down to 23 degrees. Just sat simple. That's all you have to do to set the settings for the target temperatures on each zone. Now below that are max and eco modes. Max will cool this down faster. Eco mode will still cool it down, but take a little longer. It's, it's designed to save a little bit more energy. Yeah, if you're plugged into your car, max is fine. If you're trying to run the fridge overnight, for example, you might want to run it on eco mode. And the last feature I want to talk about, one of the most important ones, is what we call a low voltage cutoff. This is a feature that prevents the fridge from drawing your vehicle's battery down so low vehicles on, will be unable to start the next morning. So in this case, we got three settings. The first one is 12 volts. It's very conservative. The old vehicles can start with their batteries at 12 volts. The next one, the medium setting, is 11.5 volts. Again, most vehicles can still start themselves at 11.5 volts. Now, the third setting is low, and we'll let it go down to 9 volts. I probably wouldn't recommend that unless you are absolutely certain that your vehicle's electrical system can operate at that voltage. Uh, I myself, I tend to use the medium or high settings, and I recommend that for most users. So I think that's the most conservative and the safest. So with this app, you can check on the fridge. You can check on the fridge if the fridge is in your tent and you're at a, a, a table somewhere else. You don't have to get up and walk over to it. You don't have to see what it's doing. You can look at how much power it's got. You can check on your car, see what your car's battery voltage is at any time. It makes it very easy, a, a, definitely a lot more peace of mind when you know what the piece of hardware is doing anytime you want to check on it. So there you go guys, like I said, this Bluetooth feature for this fridges is really cool and really important. That way you have access to, you know, monitoring if your fridges is still um, at the right temperature or if it's still working, you know, like um, if you still have power to going towards your fridge. It's just easy and it's just pretty cool to be honest. But yeah, so like I said, I'm going to be putting their link in the description box down below just in case you want to grab one for yourself. And I still have that discount code active if you guys want to use that. Don't forget to put it up at the checkout. But anyways, so thanks for watching guys. And as always, catch you on the next one.